Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to install GSI generic system image on any Android device that has Project Treble or Project Treble compatible. Hi guys, before I begin, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader um, because installing GSI generic system image is almost installing a custom ROM or system image. Basically, you're installing system image. In order to do that, you need to have full unlock bootloader. I, you do have to unlock the bootloader. I do have a universal guide on how to unlock the bootloader on pretty much any Android device. Check that out. Most Samsung devices, you don't actually have to unlock the bootloader, but the US Snapdragon models of the newer Galaxy phones, they all have locked bootloaders. So you'll need an international version of a Samsung Galaxy. A lot of LG phones also have locked bootloader. For LG, you'll need like a European international model. That's the only one you can unlock the bootloader. So just go ahead and check with my site first. And if your phone's not listed there, you can go ahead and Google it and see if you can unlock the bootloader on your phone. All right, so first step, go ahead and unlock the bootloader before beginning this guide. And also you can go ahead and use fast boot or Torp Recovery. But if you're gonna unlock the bootloader, you might as well install Torp Recovery because you'll be able to install new GSI in the future without using a computer. So this tutorial will show you how to do it with Torp Recovery. And later down the road, I'll also show you how to do it with fast boot commands, but you'll need a computer to do it. So if you have Unlock Bootloader with Torp Recovery installed, we're ready to go. So I'll be using my Galaxy S9, all right, uh, which I already have Android P. And the first thing you'll want to do, go ahead and type treble check and go ahead and install this app. Okay, go ahead and hit open. And to check that your phone is supported, you should see a green mark here, project treble supported. And down here, it will either say check or X, all right? Um, if you have an X like me, it means slot A. I remember that. If you have a check, then you should see slot A, B. Then you have A, B, all right? Phones like Pixel, uh, phones like OnePlus 6, they'll have A, B. Make sure you get check mark here, bottom here. Make sure you know it's slot A or slot A, B. Next, you're gonna go ahead and download the GSI, generic system image. Now, these images should end in .img. I'm gonna go ahead and show you with my computer. You can also do it on your phone. Hi okay, guys, so when you go ahead and download the GSI images, there are gonna be a few different types. For the Pixel Experience GSI, you can see there's ARM, uh, ARM64, ARM64A only. Now, most new devices are gonna be ARM64. The only ARM is gonna be like, if you have like a really old phone. So normally you probably need ARM64. For the Galaxy S9 I have here, um, since it's A only, I'm gonna go ahead and download A only. All right, if you have AB type, based on the treble check app, um, go ahead and download the AB. Now, once you download this file, um, let me go ahead and show you, you'll want to also unzip it. So double click on it, extract all files. If you're doing this on your phone, you can also go ahead and use like um, File Explorer, Yes File Explorer, or you can also use Alzip, uh, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. I've already extracted it. And you can see under my pixel directory, I have the file ending in .img. This is the file you'll want. So go ahead and copy this file onto your phone. All right, once you have extracted file, it should be in .img. Now I've got the GSI for Pixel Experience ROM, which is Pixel Experience P ARM 64-A only.img. Once you have that, you're ready to go. And also you'll need Google Apps. All right, you should have Bit G Apps. Um, this is the G Apps I use. It should work for all of the GSI images for Android 9.0. So just have two files, the GSI image file and the G Apps. Once you have those two, you have Unlock Bootloader, you have Torp Recovery, you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot into Torp Recovery. All right, for many devices it's different, but for Samsung devices, it's gonna be volume up, Bixby and power. For most other devices, it's just gonna be volume down and power. And you can let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and the Bixby, and you'll be in Torp Recovery. For all the OnePlus phones, it's gonna be volume down and power. A lot of other phones, volume down and power, and you will have a choice to select recovery. Then go ahead and select recovery, and you'll boot into Torp Recovery. 
If you don't know how, just Google it. Now, we are going to have to wipe, which means you're gonna lose all your apps, app settings. It's not gonna erase your internal storage. I do recommend doing an advanced wipe for a clean install. Okay guys, once in Tor recovery, we're gonna do a wipe. By wiping, it's gonna erase all your apps, app settings. Um, do make a backup ROM. I do have a tutorial on how to make a backup ROM, which will back up your whole OS. And then you can go ahead and restore it later if you need it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe. And we're gonna go to advanced wipe and we're gonna select Dalvik our cache system data in cache. Do not touch everything else, all right? This will give us a clean slate to install the GSI. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and install the GSI image. Just go to install, go to install image. And you're gonna go into the folder where you have the GSI image. I have it in my internal storage in my download folder and it's only going to show you files ending in .img all right uh, i'm going to go ahead and choose pixel experience a only .img all right i'm going to go ahead and flash that and i'm going to go ahead and choose system image and go ahead and swipe to flash and that's how you flash a gsi generic system image it's basically a system image all right that's it so simple all right installation didn't take too long um you're going to go ahead and go to home now you will need to install G apps in most cases. If your generic system image doesn't require you to, you can go ahead and reboot at this point and you should be good to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and reboot recovery, swipe to reboot. Don't worry if it says you have no OS, on the reboot, it's gonna actually go ahead and make the image boot image, all right? Because when you install the system image, it's not gonna have boot image. All right, next you're gonna go back to install and you're gonna go ahead and install bit G apps. All right, just a regular zip file, confirm to flash. This will give you Play Store. If you don't flash this, you won't get the Play Store. I right, go ahead and reboot system now. Do not install, and you don't get that no OS warning. And that is why you'll have to reboot into recovery before flashing the G apps. And this should take maybe a minute. Um, it will usually reboot once, depending on the phone. And boom shakalaka. And you got a nice pixel boot animation, which Pixel Experience ROM brings you, GSI image. And the beauty of GSI, of course, you can install this image on any Android phone that supports Project Treble. All right, so go ahead and check if you have an unlocked bootloader on your phone, um, if you have a phone that supports Project Treble, go ahead and download this and try installing it. All right, you can go ahead and back up whatever you have, try the Android P, and after trying, if you don't like it, you can always go back. And if you need root, all you need to do is also install Majisk zip file right after you install gapps, all right? I didn't show you that part in case some of you might not want root, but if you want it root, you can also let it boot and then go ahead and reboot back into twerp and go ahead and flash Majisk after. All right, if you do have trouble getting back into it because of your phone might be encrypted, then you can go ahead and use um, no verify encrypt a zip file. I, I'll put the link all in my tutorial just in case um, you guys run into that problem. Then you can go ahead and get rid of the encryption and go ahead and flash Majisk or whatever file after you install this GSI or this ROM. Since this is such a new thing, everybody just calls it GSI. I will just call it GSI ROMs, all right? And boom, I got into the start, continue, accept, skip, not now, skip anyway. Let me show you one thing you should do right after you install this. Because these images are not built for this phone specifically. So you see how everything is a little too small. So on the Galaxy S9, I had to actually change the DPI. Now with Android P, it's really easy to do. Go into system, go into about phone, scroll down to build number, hit it five times until it says you're now a developer. Hit the back button, go to advanced, Go to developer options, and if you go way down to uh, animations, I would also change these animations to 0.5. It'll make your system a little bit faster. You don't need it at 1x. It's just a waste of uh, time. Um, ch you can go ahead and change the DPI here, here. Um, so you can go ahead and change this to something like 390, and it'll make everything bigger. So it's the actually opposite. If you want it um, smaller, you can set a bigger number. So if I do that, you'll see everything got larger. All right, now it fits my Galaxy S9 
perfectly the way it should. So do that for your device. That's one of the things you, sh you gotta do because with generic uh, system images, obviously it's made for everything. So you'll have to adjust things like that. But otherwise you should be ready to go. Now you've learned how to install a Project Treble GSI ROM. Anyway guys, you saw how simple it was to flash a GSI ROM on any Android that has an unlocked bootloader with Twerp Recovery. All right, like I said, you can also do it with Fastboot. I'll have a tutorial on that next time. If you have a phone that supports Project Treble with an unlocked bootloader, definitely check this out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, stay home on Android.